Wealth, security, and opportunity are a byproduct of success. However, it often comes at the expense of deep personal satisfaction and happiness. This is the Design Your Destiny podcast, and I am your host, Penny Chase, on board certified hypnotist and number one international best selling author. I work with the highly successful influencers, business leaders, corporate leaders who desire a life by design. In this podcast, I will bring to you succinct solo episodes and interviews that dissect the challenges of success and highlights the ways to leverage your most underutilized asset, your subconscious mind. If you desire peace and happiness in your life, better health and stronger relationships so you can enjoy the success that you have created, keep listening because this podcast is for you. Hey, welcome back. People often ask me how to know if they're a right fit to work with me. And the answer is, it depends. There are a lot of things that go into my personal client selection process. And that's because I want to know I can get the person the result that they've asked for. Now, you and I both know that there are no guarantees in life. However, when we are smart about our choices, we exponentially increase the likelihood of that outcome. Someone recently asked me, you know, Penny, what is your success rate? And I'm like, it's like 90, 95%, closer to 95 than it is to 90. And they're like, really? And I said, well, yeah, that's because I'm very selective in my client process. Now, a lot of times people might not think they're ready when they really are. And that is because we have bias towards ourselves. We have self-judgment. We see ourselves through a different lens than someone who is objective about our problem. When someone shows up and they want to connect with me to work one-on-one, the number one key component to maximizing the likelihood that you are going to get the outcome that you desire is complete honesty. I do not reveal what takes place on my interview calls. It's a sales call, but it's more of an interview because I'm not going to sell anything. I'm not going to propose that we work together unless we're a fit. And the most important aspect of this is honesty. I ask a lot of questions. Some of them are deeply personal because they allow me to assess, one, the readiness to do the work, but two, what are the things that you have never considered that are contributing to your problem that might be contributing to your problem? You know, we always talk about the layers of the onion. And sometimes people, they're looking at one aspect that they want to address. And they don't realize that this other thing is actually the more important issue to address. That the thing that they reach out to me for is a superficial layer of a much deeper problem. And if I am not aware of the much deeper problem, then what can happen is when we move into the work, We can begin to get a result, but then all of a sudden a wall goes up and we make progress, but we can't get the complete resolution. And what happens is we're not dealing with the real problem. Now, sometimes the way these things are linked together, if you simply know which the more prominent issue is, it's easy to unravel to get you the result that you want. So for example, someone can reach out to me and say, you know, I want a little more self-confidence. I get nervous every time I have to go on camera. I've been doing it for years. I just don't want to be nervous anymore. And we do the work and we get great results. We're having great headway. And then all of a sudden another issue will pop up. And when we explore it deeper, it will turn out 
perhaps this is just an example. Perhaps this person didn't tell me that they had a binge eating disorder that has not been addressed. There's a whole other component of things under there that are impacting what we're working on. We're just working on a peripheral issue, not the core issue. And before anyone reaches out to me and wants hypnosis for their binge eating disorder, I do not work with binge eating disorders. And here's why. The research, the established literature, says that persons with diagnosed binge eating disorders of any kind, be it anorexia, bulimia, or whatever that might look like for you, if you meet diagnostic criteria for any binge eating disorder, it requires a team approach. And that is outside of what I do. I'm not a healthcare professional in that realm. I'm not a therapist. But I mean, we made significant headway, but without addressing the other issue, it wasn't going to happen. And it's not something that I address. Now, I have worked with many clients who had binge eating disorders in the past. They worked with therapists and they were able to move beyond that. They took care of it. And then the work that we do together is actually fairly simple. We're still just dealing with a peripheral belief, a peripheral issue, but we're not having to deal with that much deeper thing. So honesty is huge, especially if there are significant repeating patterns of something in your past. It changes the way that I look at the work we do together. So take, for example, you're needing to make a pivot in your business. We're in a recession, depending on whose definition you're going on these days. And say all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you've never, ever, ever had an issue with your confidence or your clarity around your business. And now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, with no rhyme or reason, you're like, oh my God, I'm in this place. And I have to move and I can't move. I feel like I'm in quicksand. I can't move. If you and I connect and I'm asking you questions and this has never showed up in your past before, there's one way to handle it. Then if you and I connected and you're like, oh yeah, you know, throughout my life at different times, it, in college, this happened. Then in high school, this happened. And, you know, this comes up for me a lot where when it comes time for the rubber to meet the road, I find myself kind of like in quicksand, but in the past, I've always been able to push through it. Right now, I can't afford the time to be stuck here and push through. I got to move. Then we're going to deal with it a different way because every client is individual. Every issue is individual and you need an individualized approach to get you to the end result that you want. The other thing about working with me is I want to know what you've done about it before. I want to know, have you worked with other coaches? Have you worked with other hypnotists? Are you journaling? Are you meditating? Do you do yoga, Tai Chi? Like, what are you bringing into your life to solve this issue? And it gives me a lot of insight as to where we are on the spectrum of solving the issue because ethically... I don't want to sell you less than what you need, but I also do not want to sell you more than what you need. So we take a look at that. I look at your mindset. What are your expectations in the process? If you are using the words, I'm stuck, I'm struggling, everything is hard. Everything is so hard. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. I don't know what to do. Then there's a pretty good chance you and I are not going to be a fit to work together. Because even that language of stuck and struggling is so disempowering. There's a lot of work that goes into just changing the way we talk to ourselves. And if you have addressed your self-talk to a large degree, I mean, hell, sometimes I even say, you know what, I'm feeling really stuck right now, but I'm not stuck, right? There's a difference. And depending on the degree that this is woven in your language gives me an indicator of 
how much support, how much resources outside of our one-on-one -on -one work together are going to be required to get you to where you want to go. Because the work that you and I do together, I can facilitate, we can get you a shift, but if you're not going to change your habits and thinking, you're going to talk yourself right back into the same place. If you're one of those people who's going to talk yourself back into the same place and you're not insightful and resourceful about it, then most likely we're not going to be a fit to work together. Again, you'll notice I'm not saying absolutely because there's context, right? If you are in momentum and you have come 90% of the way and you just need to jump this hurdle to get the rest of the way, that's different. Sometimes when we hit a rough spot, we tend to revert back to old language when we're in a rough spot. That's why I have you fill out an application. I see where your mind is when you were in enough of a situation that you're like, you know what, damn it, I need some help. Let me fill out this application versus where you are when we actually connect. Because our life is not a straight line. It's not straight up, straight down, straight 45 degree angle, 60 degree angle, nothing like that. We are riding waves in our life every day based on our context and our circumstances. So it gives me a basis of comparison of where you are. Now, there are some absolutes on things I do not work with. If you have been diagnosed with major clinical depression and you got therapy, you're on medications for that. If you have any disassociative disorder, I do not work with clients with disassociative disorder. All of my work is virtual and I don't have a connection to your therapist or other professional to navigate the things that might come up because your therapist might perceive things from a different light than I do. Bipolar, schizophrenia, any type of psychosis. I'm really focused on working with your confidence, your motivation, helping you to move forward to unlock your full potential. And I, I know this is like, oh, everybody says that, unlock your full potential. We don't recognize how our mind can hold us back until it's no longer holding us back. That's the reality of the situation. We truly have no idea how much our life is run through the filter of the subconscious mind, how much our decisions that we think we're making, we aren't really making until we have this stuff out of the way. So if you are interested in working with me, if you are motivated, if you are willing to commit to some simple mindset work, between sessions. If you are focused on the solution and not the problem, and you are willing to be a partner in this dance that gets you to where you want to go, I want you to go over to the website. I want you to fill out an application. And let's see what this looks like. Based on what you heard in this call, unless you're dealing with one of the things I said I absolutely do not work with, make no assumptions as to whether or not you are a fit, unless you're wanting me to fix this for you, and you think that everyone else in the world is to blame for your problems. Because if everyone else in the world is blamed for your problems, and there's zero self-responsibility for your role in what has taken place in your life, then I can tell you, while I might provide you some guidance as to how to move forward, you won't like working with me. So most likely in that scenario, I'm not even going to give you the opportunity. And I know that sounds harsh and that sounds hard, but you have to be a willing participant in the process. And if you're not willing to be a willing participant to take that self-responsibility to take action on your own behalf, then you're not going to get the result you're looking for. And then what's going to happen is you're going to be pissed off at me, even though I show up 110%. I mean, we both know there's no such thing as 110%, but I show up with my heart for my clients. I show up dedicated to helping you get to where you want to go. And I'm not going to expend my energy, my effort, my time, my personal responsibility if you aren't willing to show up in your personal responsibility and let's work together. Because the kind of work I do, this stuff is not stage hypnosis. It is not what you see in the movies. 
This is life-changing, transformative stuff. So unless you really want to transform and have a life-changing experience, then don't apply. If you do, then do. Yeah, I know there are going to be some people who are going to disagree with this episode there. I know my email box is going to fill up and say, how dare you as a hypnotist say these things? We are supposed to help everybody. I'm not required by anybody to help everybody. I will do my best for the people who will show up and allow me to serve them because I'm here for my clients. I'm not here for me. I will show up for people who will allow me to serve them at my greatest capacity. That's who I want to show up for. I want to show up for you because if you've hung out to the end of this episode, then I know that you're looking for someone who is committed to you, committed to your results. And that's what I'm about. So click the link in the show notes, fill out an application. Let's see if we're a fit to work together because you know what? Nothing lights me on fire better than seeing the people I work with get what they want and you deserve it. So go click that link, fill out that application, get on my calendar. Rest assured, if there are any red flags on the application, I will reach out to you because I know your time is valuable. Until next week. Thanks for listening to this episode of Design Your Destiny. I would love to know what resonated most with you. So just take a screenshot of this episode, share it over on your Instagram stories and tag me at penny.chason and let me know what you thought. Also, if you head over to iTunes and you leave a positive review, it helps this podcast to help reach even more people making a difference, elevating humanity and mankind.